everybody. Um, it's me again. Long time no see. I know. <clears throat> I'm really bad at <laughs> keeping up. But uh, lately, yeah, I screwed up my back so I can't really move or turn my head. So I didn't want to be on camera. So this little guy is my fill-in. It's kind of like what I feel like. Just kind of blah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I just wanted to make a video because I did a thing. And okay, this is how stupid I am. I'll explain. Okay, let me move him over for now. He was just my fill-in for now. Don't mind my my crappy camera work. Okay, this was something I needed to buy. This is a shower filter, blah, blah, blah. But on Amazon.com, if you buy $25 worth of stuff, then you get free shipping. So, I got fun stuff. <laughs> I bought one of these. Oh, cute. And also adorable. Because uh, this wasn't quite, this was like 21, and this put me at like 27. So I had to get these little guys. Why? Okay, here's the thing. I have got to distract myself from buying a pull-up. Or pull-up. What are they? Pull-ups. <laughs> it's like the diapers when I say it. Pull-ups. Pull-up? Is that how you say them? Anyway. Because um, I have like four of those on a wish list. And they're so cute. But um, they're so expensive. So these little guys were like... I think this one was eight seventy five and this little guy was nine twenty something, nine twenty three or something. So I got these little guys because I figure if I can get my cute for the sake of cute fetish over with because like if I get a, a pull up doll, it'll just sit on my shelf probably and so these little guys will be do you know, they'll do the same thing. So yeah, so to distract myself from that because I've been looking and those Pull-ups are really expensive, man. And I could get the one I want, of course, is like almost the same price as what a BJD would be or yeah. So we're gonna not do that. <laughs> so I got these little guys. And I wanna crack them open because they're really cute. But these are Funko Pop vinyl little figures. And the little penguin guy. I don't know if anybody watches Adventure Time, but I love that cartoon. Um, this is Gunther from Adventure Time. So cute. And he, you can't see it on camera, but he came with a couple little paint flaws in here. And that kind of bums me out when you order stuff because I like to look at, you know, how things are made and everything and get the best one. But I think I can fix it. It just looked like they took white out and tried to fix their little mistake. But from afar, it's fine. But he's so cute. Oh, look at his little eyes. So that's him, and then I had to get, okay, let's put him on camera so that we have something to look at, and then I got, because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings freak, and I saw the Hobbit movies, little Legolas, oh, he's got a little bow, and an arrow, and he's so cute, and I was amazed how, and he looks like he's frowning, he's so frowny, he's cute. But I was amazed how um, detailed his armor and stuff is. Like, for a little $9 toy. And I don't know why this thing won't. Zoom in properly. Oops. I don't know how to work my camera. But the coolest thing about him, and I didn't know this, his head turns. Ah, so cool. And he stands, so he can just, like, glance to the side. So cute. But yeah, I was so happy when I got him. But yay! So that was the way to distract myself from buying expensive, cute little things. And I'm happy. My only thing is, again, he came with a little paint flaw here. So, again, if you get these little guys and you expect perfection, you're probably not going to get it, but it's fine because they're so cute. But yeah, so these little guys will be on my shelf, just kind of hanging out. Oh, I love them. So yeah, happy, happy days. Oh, And then, <laughs> okay, when I start buying stuff, I don't quit. So I also got, and this is actually helpful, but um, I don't think he's going to stand on the couch by himself. Nope. He'll just, he'll just take a little nap. Oh, he knocked him down. Relax. Okay. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, I also got, because it makes sense, 
a book, and yes, yeah, because I'm still new at this. I got the be ball de ball jointed doll for beginners book by this chick, Allison B. Rasmussen and Melissa M Methany Methany. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah, this kind of tells me everything I need to know, and the pictures are really pretty. These are all from, oh crap, what's the company? They only have one company in here. I want to say it's, oh my gosh, it's amazing how you remember stuff until you need it. <laughs> all of these dolls are from what company? I know she says it in her not. Hang on, let me. I gotta look at this. Do 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 do. Peaks Woods. Yes, these are all Peaks Woods dolls, pictured in here, and they're so pretty. And it's like it almost makes you want to buy more dolls, which is bad. But but no, it goes into everything you need to know, and they have different lists for companies and stuff, and where to find extra stuff on information on the internet. Because I look at the computer and I just, I'd rather have a book to use as reference to, so I had to get this. But there's a couple of really pretty pictures. I think this one's really pretty. Ah! Uh, but there's no boy sculpts, which kind of bums me out. But it shows you how to do, like, make head caps and stuff, and make sure the wigs fit. And there's something right here for suede. I'm going to try suede with moleskin, and it's great because I don't have to, um, on string my doll and I'm hoping it works because this is the only page I guess but yeah so you can see you just kind of pull them out flop it in there and it should work so I got you know I can't find that hang on <laughs> where'd it go I am so disorganized oh it's on the floor found it okay so I got myself some moleskin so I'm gonna try to fake suede, um, what do you, what's his name, Rowan, <laughs> yes, because he does not stand, and yeah, it shows you how to restring too, I am still definitely terrified to take Rowan apart, so that's why if I restring, how do you face us, um, I don't know, I gotta wait, I'm not brave enough, because I've taken stuff apart, and not known how to put them back together, and I have cried, so if I would screw him up, I would be so just devastated. So anyway, um, get my little fillings up here. So that's all, just kind of a quick update and a weird rambly thing because I am so, like, out of it. But, uh, yeah, so that's where I am right now. I'm, I'm still around, so <laughs> don't worry. But I'm going to try to, yeah, do the slating on Rowan with this moleskin stuff and... We'll see if um, it works. I hope it does because oh, he really, really, really needs it for posing and stuff. And I'd like to take pictures, but he's, I don't know. And it could be a stringing thing, too. Again, I don't know how to tell if stuff is too tight or loose, or I think he might be too tight. But And I'm hoping this extra suading, the padding in there, doesn't make it worse. Like, oh, I don't know if it's too tight, if something bad will happen. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, <laughs> enough with the ramblings, oh, but I gotta go before the cuteness, <laughs> can't stay too much, no, this is getting too long, so hopefully I'll have good news for next time with, um, Rowan, and hopefully I'll quit buying stuff on the side because I have a problem, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> oh, I'll talk to you next time, Bye bye